How you doing, man? Hi. Um, I'm not high like high, but high. So, for the few people that might not know you, you were actually born in New Jersey, but you were raised here in Atlanta, Zone 6. Uh, what does it mean for you? Why, what does it matter? It don't matter where you raised, where you from. You know what I'm it just matter how you come. So, but, I mean, I'm just the type of person to stay loyal and I rep where I'm from. I ain't running from it, so that's why I rep my hood. Cause that's what, that was where I came from, you know what I'm saying? So you've been really productive over this past few years. You, you put a lot of mixtapes out there, a lot of a lot of projects. Are you always in the studio recording, or is it a process like from time to time? I record a lot, but I ain't always recording. <coughs> <coughs> but nah, I'm most likely. I'm saying just kicking pimp, kicking pimp, and living my life. So. I know I can't have something to rap about. I don't just sit in the studio all day. I actually live and just come kick, kick it. I just live on the track. Just to come back to the first design of drugs, like, wh why did you come up with that concept? Because in, in, actually, in actuality, that's me. Like, I've been hood rich, Pablo one way before I ever rap. Design drugs, that's just the type of person I was. I was addicted to buying designer and I was playing around with drugs, so I just mixed both of them. Like, design drugs, you know what I'm saying? Just concepts, and I think that's just the fun part of the game coming up with concepts. I mean. And so you say you were Hood Rich Pablo before you were even a rapper, so we sure. know you used to hang out at the studio a lot with. Tug and Migos, like, how did you meet all of those guys? I mean, we all from Atlanta. We grew up, we bumped into each other and just happened to vibe and kick it off, you know what I'm saying? So, we, we was always friends through when they was going through their ups and I'm coming up, so. But you know, friends can't always just be right beside you sometimes. You gotta go do what you do, I do what I do. We meet at the top. Recently, you got your deal with, with 1017, with Gucci Man. How would you describe your relationship with Gucci? I love Gucci. He's a real person. He gonna get on your nerve telling it to you real. You know what I'm saying? He gonna tell you some real shit. You might not like how it come, but I like real. So I want you to tell. I ain't no sensitive person. So shit. Fuck with Gucci. Play real. And so you met, you met him when he got released from prison, right? Mm -hmm. Would you say like that changed him a lot? Like, would you say he was different than before he got in there? Uh, I don't know how Gucci man was before he got in there. We got ass You know what I'm saying? But I just think he got out and went hard. But that's just been Gucci man not the only person. A lot of people get out of prison and go harder than people that's on the streets because they go to jail. When you go to jail, you feel like you behind. But, you know what I'm saying, really, ain't shit going on out here. So you trying to catch up through all this shit like you behind, but really you done overlap somebody thinking, but, you know what I'm saying, thinking that there's more going on than what it really is. To get back to your first album now, Design of Drugs 3, can you tell us a little bit more about this project and how you might have approached it a little bit different than, than the other mixtapes before that? Design Drugs 3 was always being cooked up. It was always... Every time I made a song that I felt like had a, the, the rhythm of me dropping my album, I always put it in design drugs three category. Cause it ain't like, most mixtapes, like I'm gonna drop another tape and another one. And most of them be like two, three days in the studio with the producer, four days, five, whatever, go, drop tape. Design drugs three is literally like, five days in the studio with every producer and, and holding some of them songs like, nah, I'm away, that one. I'm gonna put that on Design Drugs 3, you know what I'm saying? So it's collective, all, all the shit I thought was my best, my, I wouldn't say the best music, but the best kind of swag for the, for the type of project I was putting out. And so you were just talking about spending time with producers, like picking the right track and all that, all that kind of stuff. So the one producer that comes back a lot is Danny Wolf. Is there a special vibe when you're in the studio with him? Like, why do you like his tracks so much? I think his tracks like me. I don't, 
it's just he work hard and his beats hard, so I pick. You actually work with French beat makers, Rodinsky and another one that's called Ika's Boy. How did you make that connection? They reached out to me. Me and Rodinsky have a whole album written. I fuck that bitch, put the dick in the kitchen, and chef in the kitchen, I'm frying the chickens. Put too many to my wrist to spin and shopping for cookies with no limit. I never found out, I put a whole. I'd be saying to the world, it might look like, ooh, like, ooh, that's, that's, you doing your thing or you. But to me, it's all been a, a big plan from when I first started rapping. First, let me hit the stage. Let me, let me, let me say everything I ever did. Let me eat every feature. Let me do this. Let me do that. So it just be coming out just like one love. I, I knew that was my best song and a good song. I ain't know it's gonna do that good, but you just gotta know it. You gotta know it before them, especially if you're gonna be a good artist. You know what I'm saying? So by the time everybody else pick it up. Like, I'm glad my idea worked, you know what I'm saying? Who would you say were the artists that influenced you earlier in your career or when you were younger? Um, definitely Gucci, man. Boosie. I was a little hood, little hood kid, so I used to listen to stuff like Young Scooter, stuff like that, and uh, Eldorado Red, I used to listen to him. Um, Charlie Lowe was cool back then. I used to listen to, what I used to listen to? I used to listen to Wiz Khalifa during his little cool era. I listen to a lot of, you know what I'm saying? But really, if you ask me, I'm smooth, bro. Like, I'm ready to kill anybody, like anything that try me. But when it comes to girl, like, I'm, I ain't gonna touch no girl, so. I be liking them song like Miguel, like, that even when the sun don't shine, like whatever that shit called. That new one he got, shit like that, candy colored raindrop, jagged head, like that smooth shit, cause I don't even wanna hear about having to kill nobody or robbing or shooting, cause I really gotta do that shit, so I'm trying to go on and get into a whole another zone. Gotcha. Uh, three artists you would like to collaborate with? Oh, no, nah, okay, let me see. Chris Brown. I can't really think about nobody. Cause I ain't gonna lie the way I rap. I don't really, like, I ain't gonna say I don't care, but it's raw. Like, I'm like here to take it, you know, like, cause I can't see myself wishing on the star, you know what I'm saying? I feel like the people that I am infatuated with, to be real, or the people that kind of motivate me, are, I already make music with amigos, school up, shit like that. And they, in my eyes, no cap, these are the people who I feel like are the best. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, are going the direction I would like to go. So I can't think of nobody. Like, who do I want to work with? Really, nobody. Like, no disrespect to Jay Z or nobody like that. But if that come, I want it to come because that's how it came. I don't want to come, come back, knocking on your front door and throwing rocks at your window, asking you for a feature cut. I don't give no fuck about this shit. You know what I'm saying? Top three artists from Atlanta that people should look at for. When you, when you say look for, you mean like this? Coming on, up. On Okay, okay, on the come up. I think Lil Baby hard. I think Young Ma and Lil Quill hard. I just want to tell everybody in France, bonjour. And I love you, you know what I'm saying? Like, Y'all yeah, follow me, hoodrich underscore Pablo one on Instagram, hoodrich underscore Pablo on Twitter. I want to see you. French comments, I want to have to translate what you're saying. Like, I need the whole friends with me. I need to come out there. I'm going to come out there. I'm coming soon. Me and Bredensky got a tour coming to France for sure. Thanks so much, man. You're welcome. I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Right. Appreciate it. Hey. Oh, Pablo, what a boy, let me see it dope. Blue blood, what the word for the nose. Shoot a nigga dead right in the throat. Nigga, you ain't nothing but a hoe. Real nigga, ooh, I pulled up a foe. Look at my motherfucking clothes. I smell like a pound of gelato. You smell like a pussy, you hope.